How's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Up, and why are we here? Because it's gaming month. Actually, no, it's not. It's not gaming month. Gaming month is now over. That's right. Gaming month was all of January. I know I've heard it from a lot of people. What is this GMO? Why do I keep seeing GMO 2022? All that sort of stuff. It's because it was gaming month. January uh, is probably the worst month of the entire year. And that's why we made it gaming month. We play a lot of different games that we buy during the winter sale. Um, games I've been thinking about buying the entire year. And then finally during the winter sale, I finally buy them. And then during the month of January, we play uh, a gaming month games. I don't know if you've noticed this, but uh, usually we end up playing like one of like four games, you know, the Hunter Call, the Wild Fishing Planet, uh, among other hunting and fishing games out there. And uh, and if I look like I'm going crazy by the end of December, it's probably because I'm tired of playing the same four games over and over and over again. And uh, that's what Gaming Month is all about. So if you haven't seen the Gaming Month episodes, then make sure you go back and watch them because uh, that's what we're going to go over right here. First episode of Gaming Month, we went into the VR space. We'd never done this before on the BZ Up, so I was really excited about it. Gaming Month 2022, episode number one, Gun Club VR. Uh, we went into the SWAT, Western Zombies and more. Uh, it was a lot of fun on the Oculus Quest 2, something I bought um, before Christmas. It was like a Christmas gift to myself, really. Uh, being able to do VR games was something I was m very much looking forward to being able to do on the, the BZ Hub. So, so yeah, it was, uh, it was a great purchase. And it sounds like a lot of people have been enjoying games. So, uh, yeah, it was great. Tropical Fishing was another uh, game. Very interesting, very cartoony. But I'm sure uh, some of you enjoyed this one being another VR fishing game. Then we went into the Barren Sea. Uh, this was one of those things that people had always asked me about to go and play the Barren Sea games. And I was like, sure, why not? Let's go play the Barren Sea games. Although I will tell you that I was excited about episode six, which was playing the North Atlantic version. And then we went into lobster fishing and all that sort of stuff. That was fun as well. Another game that I was looking forward to playing was Feed and Grow Fish. I love fish, obviously being an angler myself. And so being able to play as a fish, eating other fish and getting larger and larger, that was that was really kind of fun. And we played this for a lot of episodes. We played this for our fourth episode, our fifth episode, all the way to our 17th episode. So a lot of uh, a lot of growing fish, honestly. And I was going to play this for the last episode as well, but plans changed, you know. After Fish Feed and Grow, we of course went on to playing a raft with my brother. Uh, this was a fun little thing. We uh, we survived on a raft, uh, playing different stuff. We actually had like three or four episodes planned, but after the first one didn't perform very well, we decided that it wasn't worth uh, editing the other one. So it was a fun game though. And we both really enjoyed it and we ended up playing it like, I don't know, three or four different times on just trying out different stuff and making our raft different ways. So a really fun game. If you never played a raft, you should check it out. Episode 10, we went back into Fishing North Atlantic, except this time started out harpooning. We had a little trouble early on, but afterwards we were a harpooning crazy machine. Uh, getting tuna, getting swordfish, it was a lot of fun harpooning if you've never played uh that kind of fishing game i guess what i'm trying to say is if you get into the game and you're crab fishing and you're you know you're doing the long lines and stuff and you're like this isn't as fun as i thought it would be go play the harpooning one it's fun to throw freaking spears and stuff and bring them in i thought it was a blast anyway it like combined the hunter call of the wild and fishing planet together and then uh and then and of course yeah the whole like boat uh, buying process and all that sort of stuff i just thought it was a good time after fishing north atlantic we went into ranch simulator which we played for two episodes uh building up a ranch had some chickens uh wanted to do more but we kind of ran out of money and then lost focus uh working on the ranch but that was a fun little game and i think if they had more that you could do in the game we might stick around and play a little bit longer because it was a cool concept but but, I mean, we can do very similar things in uh, in Farming Simulator 2022, so we might just continue on with that instead. After Ranch Simulator, we played Pro Deer Hunting 2, which was kind of interesting. It was a uh, a cheap game that someone had made. You, you could tell someone had put some time into it and really thought about deer hunting. Probably a deer hunter themselves put uh, time into creating the game, which was really cool. We saw some really uh, cool colors. They were more realistic that I really enjoyed, and, uh, and just 
yeah, it was the little things in that game that really made it special, honestly. And then, of course, real VR fishing. This game was a lot of fun. I was impressed by how realistic it looked um, for for a game, and then being VR on top of that, I thought it was great. If you have if you have an Oculus Quest and you haven't played real VR fishing, you're missing out. You need to try it if you enjoy fishing. I, even if you don't enjoy fishing, you might enjoy the game. I thought it was great. We'll we'll definitely be putting out more episodes of real VR fishing because I want to keep going on and get to the bigger fish out in the ocean. And even into the Western, uh, is the US, the US Western uh, DLC, I think? Yeah, I wanna do that too. After that live stream, we had a video of Duck Season. Now this is a VR game where you uh, shoot ducks and you, do, you have a very scary dog. But uh, yeah, I'm eager to keep playing. Everyone keeps telling me that I need to continue on and play the entire game. I didn't even know that it was like a thing you could actually like get to the end of. I just assumed that you just kept shooting ducks and they got harder, kind of like Duck Hunt. But evidently there's an ending to this game, so maybe we will continue on and just see how that all goes. But make sure you comment down below to let me know if you, that's something that you're interested in seeing. After duck season, we went on to Cat Ghost Fishing. Cat Ghost Fishing was a lot more interesting than I thought it would be. I, of course, kept thinking, a cat goes fishing and then it's like this weirdly animated game and like the fish I I don't get it like why is this fun but uh after I played it for a half hour I realized oh my god this is a game you could really sink a lot of time into <laughs> and uh and I had a great time playing it so you know if you want a cheap little game that you could actually like literally like sink hours into like it's probably a game you could do yeah so after Cat Goes Fishing, we played a fishing RPG called Moon Glow Bay, and this thing was like animated and box style, like Minecraft, but it was it was really cool. I actually really enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would, and uh, I was kind of, it was uh, it was surprising that not so many people liked watching it or even even tried watching it. But uh, it's actually like it's actually like a really cool looking game. I I think I will play. Uh, if I'm not making videos of it, I might just play it on my own because it is very relaxing. It like it like makes me feel it's like Stardew Valley or uh, Animal Crossing or something like that. It's like yeah, I I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. If you need a relaxing fishing game where you like have an aquarium and you build it up and you get a boat and I don't know, solve the mystery of your lost wife or whatever you want to do, just check the game out. It it looks fun to me. I I I want to play it and figure it all out. And then, of course, episode 20, we ended it back on Fishing Planet. That's what we're going to end up playing for the rest of the year. And uh, I was going to miss our first Wednesday stream back after Gaming Month anyway, so I figured might as well play Fishing Planet. Uh, always a solid hitter, but I will say, I have said this, and people keep asking me this. They keep going, Bo, so you're never going to play Fishing Planet ever again? Like, they have tears, like, going down their face and puppy dog eyes and all that sort of stuff. Um, no, we're not. We're gonna continue playing Fishing Planet, just not as much. We've reached the end of the game. Um, we've only got two more maps that we can unlock: Amazonian Maze and the Congo River, and we've played both of them. Uh, we've put out videos of both of them, so uh, there's really not much more for us to do at this point. So we're gonna just start playing other fishing games. Doesn't mean that we'll never play it again. Just means we're probably not gonna put out as many videos about it because all of our videos were beginner videos of trying out lakes and seeing just experiencing it for the first time and we've run out of lakes to make videos about so you know that's that's just kind of how it goes but we will be getting into russian fishing which i'm excited about so we'll be playing that more and maybe other fishing games as well so if you have any ideas comment down below we'll just see what happens but I hope you enjoyed Gaming Month 2022. We'll, of course, have Gaming Month 2023 next January, which I'm most looking forward to. But until then, uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. Comment down below what some of your favorite moments were. If you had any, uh, like the video, of course. And, uh, and go watch some of those Gaming Month uh, episodes that you missed if you haven't seen them. Because I think all of them were pretty, pretty good. I think, what was my least favorite game that we played? Maybe Ranch Sim. It was fun, but it just wasn't that fun. Like, I don't think I'll go back and play it again. Now that I've played it kind of twice, I don't think I'll go back and play it again. So, eh. That's my lowest one. My most fun one? Real VR fishing. I think I'll put real VR fishing at the top. 
I think of all the ones, uh, Ranch Sim was at the bottom and Real VR Fishing was at the top, my favorite. So uh, yeah, you'll just have to tell me down below what you think. But as always, uh, check us out on live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. Obviously won't be there this Wednesday, which is uh, February 2nd, 2022. But otherwise, we'll keep it going. Uh, make sure you join the Discord so that you can know when we are going to miss stuff like that. But uh, until next time, everyone, take care. We'll see you in the next episode. And as always, remember, everyone. We're one planet, one family. Game on.